VR is dead. Will VR ever be a reality? Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer Thomason, and here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers and build custom software solutions for companies. I do a lot of work as a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership experience and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology, teams, and products. So despite the initial excitement, VR technology has not progressed as rapidly as many had hoped. The hardware remains bulky and expensive, making it inaccessible for the average consumer. Additionally, content development has lagged, with only a handful of compelling VR experiences available. This stagnation has led to many to question whether VR will ever achieve mainstream adoption. So let's talk about the market and consumer interest. Consumer interest in VR has waned significantly over the years. Early adopters were excited about the potential, but the lack of practical applications and engaging content has led to disappointment. The novelty has worn off, and without a clear value proposition, consumers are hesitant to invest in VR systems. VR needs to overcome this hurdle to revive interest and investment. So let's talk about some of the challenges in content development. Creating immersive VR content is complex and resource intensive. Developers face significant challenges in producing high quality VR experiences that are both engaging and diverse. And that may be the reason why I haven't seen a lot of the great apps that I wanted to find on it. The current VR market lacks a robust ecosystem of content creators, leading to a scarcity of experience that can attract and retain users. So in my 25 years in software development, I've seen how content can make or break a platform. Without a strong lineup of compelling application, VR's growth will remain stunted. Now, there's a lot of technological and physical limitations to VR. The physical and technological limitations of VR devices continue to be such a barrier. Issues such as motion sickness, low battery life, and limited fields of view detract from the user experience. Moreover, the need for powerful hardware to run VR applications adds to the cost and complexity. I know we've recently seen a pretty big failure in Apple's VR take. VR needs significant advancements in hardware design to address these issues and become more user friendly. Now there may be a future of VR and the potential breakthroughs, but I'm kind of skeptical. Despite the current challenges, the future of VR still might hold some potential. Advances in technology such as lighter and more powerful headsets could reignite some interest. If they can make them lighter and cheaper, then we might be able to see a bigger adoption. And then we might be able to see more developers build for them. So additionally, integration with other emerging technologies like AI and 5G could enhance the VR experience. In my career, I've seen how perseverance and innovation can turn around seemingly failing technologies. So if VR can overcome its current limitations, it may still find a place in the tech landscape, but I'm super skeptical. What are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I love having a good, healthy discussion, so make sure to leave a comment and make sure to like and subscribe. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our coding boot camps and to build custom software solutions. So reach out, we'd love to help. Hit the links down below.